make I'm sure it makes some of his moves worse in terms of the range that they have, so it's sort of a risk reward kind of variation. And the comp really likes just throwing it out there and not really doing anything with it, so it's basically just a standard or a nerf to uh to Kung Lao if you're playing against the Khan, because he never does anything super scary with it. It's not like uh, Master Storm's radar. There we go. I'm not sure if that would have chipped him out if he was blocking, but it wasn't blocking, so it didn't matter too much. Here we see the blood splashing on Tanya's heel. Directly past the head, so... The <laughs> blood watch continues. Let's see how many different things can happen. I will actually try to do every uh, every brutality this variation has, just because they're easy to do. I have no idea what I'm there. That was kind of cool, but he didn't follow up, unfortunately. Nope. Oh, he didn't die. Alright. Well, we gotta... There we go, we got it. Sorry for the little uh, shenanigans at the end there, but I managed to pull it off. Um, the last one I have to do is the throw, so... As always, going to try to land a neutral jump punch and then throw him. Fight. Sorry if my counter is a little absent here, because Pondering what? <laughs> like combination things, why am I not doing uh, the full 38% combo? Why does my brain want to do it today? I have no idea. But it does mean I get a lot of meter, so that's always nice. Oh, this, this move right here is a. Uh, it's actually your most effective poke at long range because it's pretty safe. But uh, not, not if it keeps pressuring me. Uh, I suppose I should just go for the throw brutality at this point. Got it? Yeah. Got to hold up, and there we go. Tanya wins. But uh, I was trying to do forward to teleport into the two pogos, but he, he kept being a little too aggressive, so it wasn't coming out. You can also leave that on black. I know that looked like it did, uh, it did combo, but the, the difference between it not comboing and it comboing is very small. However, if, you, if it drops, it actually does like 45% damage, as opposed to, uh, 36 I think it is now, since they nerfed, nerfed that. Every move that uses, or every combo that uses teleport is nerfed, and does a little bit less damage than they used to. Uh, yeah, it actually worked. Each uh, variation for Gang Lao just changes what facet of his uh, uniform is glowing blue. Buzzsaw doesn't. It just makes the hat have a saw on the exterior of it, but this one has its torso is uh, glowing blue, and the other one is hat glows blue, which people seem to be a fan of. So, move into very hard here. Uh, hmm. Tanya. I did it. Amazing. Kung Lao. Or is is tunic? I suppose you would call it. Hmm. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Oh right, this uh, this variation, the EX hat toss, is a uh, like a culinary culinary call sort of ability. Like 
if I was doing with Titan, if I was playing Kobuchu, so you can throw out the, um, the Tampa and recall it. You don't manually recall it, you just do the EX move, and so you can have long, very long combos that involve doing that. So the scaling on those moves usually means it's not worth doing more than one transition. And he's doing some pretty good combos here, so shouldn't spike the, the variation too much. And he's actually recalling the hat on some regular way. Spam, that's complex to do. Hmm. Once again, this is a, maybe another variation that they buffed in recent patches, or the AI buff. So. It certainly seems more interesting than it has been previously. These really weird combos. Oh, I'm pretty sure in the corner that combo is a little bit easier to do, but it still didn't work. <clears throat> the input for this fatality has to be done relatively quick, so... Even though it's it's a pretty standard fatality that you can't actually screw up because you don't have to press a button. It's, uh... Slightly more demanding than the average one. Fatality. Hmm. Round one. Fight. Oh. <clears throat> Kung Lao's uppercut is one of the better ones in the game. Uh, just just because of when he has the head equipped at anyway. Just because it has a, a ton of reach on it. Same thing with his neutral jump punch, it has additional reach because of the hat. They did an EX hat place, I don't know what exactly that does. Maybe it makes it glow more, or land, last longer, who knows. But this isn't really a variation I've, I've messed around with the time personally. Kung Lao was the first character I wanted to play in this game, but uh, it's just impossible to land his stuff online, at least for me. So I never, never took it beyond uh, the initial level, which uh, I'm still okay with Kung Lao, I just can't land in anything. <laughs> Not online. Anymore. And I can't do like the 40% multiple instant instant air dive kicks that everyone uses. I'm not, not very good at those. I could probably get the the on the ground two frame that people do. That's not too bad. But the um, the instant airs are fairly difficult to pull up consistently. I can do them occasionally. But not like twice in one combo without fail. That's, ah, so finally I didn't do the ender, so that wouldn't have landed, so it's good that I didn't do the ender, so it was an unsafe at the end of it. Oh. Don't know what it killed, so smart on the yeah, computer's part to block it. I'm gonna try to do just a wake-up brutality. Oh, well, not a wake-up, but you get the idea. And for some reason, this brutality leaves a chunk of the side out. I don't know why. <laughs> Seems like she just jumps directly over him, but apparently takes out a chunk of their side for, for no apparent reason. Kung Lao is a character that has pretty good options against Dragonite and Avatania, which 
back when everyone was terrified of Tanya, there were a few good characters that had good matches, such as Katana and Raiden. But uh, over time, that became. Obviously, she got the huge nerf bad, so. Because, um. If. <laughs> the first time Injustice was at uh, Evo, it, it got booed off the stage because Superman was way too overpowered. So another one was afraid of that happening with Tanya. So there was only one Tanya in the Evo top phase, and that was MIT, who was the, the best one in the world. So. As a Tanya player, I can appreciate uh, watching Tanya, but a lot of people find her combo kind of somewhat boring to watch. I was not expecting that to actually land, but that's okay. Uh, oh, he actually did the other one. Our complete uh, volley of fatalities and brutalities in this video. This is the easier one to do, so or the the, the one you initially unlock. They're virtually the same motion, but it's it's pretty gnarly. I guess maybe it's not as gnarly as him dragging your whole body across across the hat like he does in MK9. But it certainly looks less uh, less cartoonish than it did in that game. I'm not sure why I didn't block that, but I'll take it. I think uh, with EX fan like that is punchable. Or EX um, spin. So I probably should have done something. But I don't, I don't do a ton on the ground with, with this variation of Tiny. I did get the transition there, I just had managed to do a move that knocked me out of it. Or was armored, actually. Because I did land the head if he just done a normal hat spin, I would have gotten into the combo. So even on block, you can teleport out the forward two. And still go into the pogos. His, um... The brutalities that Kang Lao has in this variation are really cool, so... Uh, there might it might be too complicated for the comp to do it. Like usually the brutalities they do are are nearly automatic, but it's probably not completely impossible. Another interesting combo. Okay, I actually landed some and immediately dropped to a secret combo. Or the easy part of the gun, though. I believe the dive kick is armored. Or Kung, Kung Jin's dive kick is armored, but maybe, uh... Maybe Kung Lao's just faster, the EX1. Ever see some, uh, funky hitboxes? I didn't manage to hit them there, but... Yeah, I might be dead? No. Oh, the, the hat came back and got me. Alright, we'll do one more after this. I don't know if I've ever seen him just... fuddle around before going into the fatality. That was weird. Usually they... Either they're going to BM you or just punch you once. Or they immediately go into the brutality, but he kind of jumped around for a second there. Fight. Maybe he had to recall the hat before he could do it. And there are the... Since I was directly above him, he actually teleported to the same place that he was at. And it was in the corner first. Oh, I was patient there, he just decided to do nothing. It didn't matter. Oh, even though I dropped that, still got him. Okay. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Tanya wins. Faction kill.